Hello YouTube and welcome to Network Playroom. Now in this video we're gonna look at the OSPF packet type number 4 or the link state update message. Now let's recap a little bit before I go ahead and talk more about the link state update message. So if you remember in my previous videos I've discussed the database description packet and the link state request packet. So how it goes is that the router sends a summary of its link state database in the database description packet. And then the neighbor router can request the missing or more recent LSAs in a link state request uh, packet. So the link state update message, which we're going to look at now, is sent in response to that link state request packet. And as you can see on the screen here, on this diagram again from the TCP IP guide, the packet is really not that complicated. There are essentially just two fields that we're going to look at now. So first, the number of link state advertisements, that really says it all. So it is just the number of LSAs included in this packet. And next up here is the actual link state advertisement. And notice here that it says number one all the way to number n. Now, these fields actually contain the full LSA versus the summary which was in the database description packet. And each um, LSA, sorry, each link state request packet can carry multiple LSAs up to the maximum packet size of the link. I don't want to discuss a lot about the LSAs because we're going to do that at another time. But you'll see once we get to the same packet capture that we've looked at before. And if you remember from the previous video in the link state request message, R3 was requesting two LS LSAs from R1. So what we're going to see in in these fields is uh, type number one LSA, which is the router LSA, and then type number two LSA, which is of course the network LSA. So let's just jump to the packet capture and oh, it wants to refresh the page. Okay, let's scroll down back to packet number 23, just so you can see the link state request message again. So let's open this up. Again, let's quickly view the header. So this was from R3. And here you can see two link state requests. One for router LSA and one for network LSA. Okay, so let's find the link state update packet now. And it's gonna be right here, packet number 28. And as you can see from the header, this is sent by R1. Oops. And let's open the link state update packet. So here, number of LSAs is two. And they are list, listed right here. LSA type one, the router LSA, and LSA type two, network LSA. I can open these up briefly, but again, we'll discuss this in more detail at another time. But here's what the LSAs, the full LSAs actually look like. So you can see there's a lot of information contained here. 
But that's really it for the link state update message. I thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.